This morning, a new study finds an alarming number of men are skipping a critical step to maintaining a healthy lifestyle. According to a national survey by Orlando Health, a third of all men say they don't think they need annual health screenings. And it may be because they believe nothing could be wrong. Nearly two-thirds say they think they're naturally healthier than most people. And 60% say they exercise more than the recommended amount every week. But instead of paying the doctor a yearly visit, a growing number of men are trying to find their own answers online. 38% report they often turn to social media for medical advice. The new numbers show that too many men may be putting their health on the back burner. The survey found nearly 40% focus on their pet's health more than their own. But doctors stress it's never too late to prioritize your health and catch up on those routine appointments. An annual checkup is crucial at every age, especially to detect problems like heart disease and cancer early and prevent them from becoming more serious. Experts say combining yearly exams with healthy habits like exercising could make all the difference when it comes to enjoying a long and healthy life. Let's bring in Dr. Cedric McFadden. He's a board-certified colorectal and general surgeon. Dr. McFadden, always good to have you, sir. Thank you. We've talked about this before. You're, not, you're actually not surprised by the number of guys who say they don't need to go. Explain in the simplest of terms, why do men need to go to the doctor every year? Well, you know, these tests are very important to find problems before they become problems, mm -hmm. to find the elevated blood sugars before the diagnosis of diabetes, to find the high cholesterol before the heart attack. Remember, prevention is easier and cheaper than a cure. Yeah. It's cheaper and easier. My favorite uh, stat here is that more than two thirds of men just think they're like naturally healthier yeah. than yeah. anyone else. Yeah. Yeah. But okay, let's just say you're normal. <laughs> what are the tests you would do at the doctor's mm -hmm. office that would detect something? Well, some of those tests are the basic the history and the physical exam that does it, look at your whole body, listen to your heart, your blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And then there are also some blood work that you'll get done. And also urine work and some other diagnostic like x-rays or EKGs. But it's that myth of invincibility. But even Superman had kryptonite. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So when you go to the doctor, should you say, these are the tests I wanted? Because I feel like in this day and age of COVID, people are more hyper about their health, even yeah. men too. Sure. They're more concerned than they used to be, I think. And we're relying on social media to bring us that information yeah. about what we should be taking to our doctor. So that's important, writing out your questions before you go and actually bringing them to the doctor so you can read them about, these are the things that I'm concerned about, yeah. these are the things that I'd like to have addressed while I'm yeah. here. To your point though about guys who, who are hopping on the internet to try and get medical information, is, is that, altogether a bad idea? No, not necessarily. I think you have to know where to place your your trust, right? Okay. Going to sites that have .edu mm -hmm. or .gov at the mm -hmm. end are preferable. Also going to some of the associations, the American Psychiatric Association, as opposed to just going to some guy that your friend told you about. Mm -hmm. Finding reliable information that you can trust. Yeah, Doc, give a word of encouragement to those who are like, okay, maybe I'll go. It's like the dentist. I think yeah. I didn't go for oh. years like, when yeah. my kids were really little, and then I was embarrassed to go yeah. back because it had been so long. I didn't want to get a lecture. Tell folks why it's mm -hmm. okay. Even if you haven't yeah. been in a while, you can go. Well, mm -hmm. it's okay. And it should be done because of the concern about what are you going to find? You know, are you, are you mm -hmm. fearful addressing what's underlying that fear? That's one of the big reasons why men don't go. It's the fear. And so can we address the fear? Can we address the vulnerability, the feeling judged, and really kind of using that as a springboard to not... Uh, so to, if, if you had a friend who was sitting in this chair who said, I'm not going to go to the doctor, how would you convince them to go, what would be the way that you would do it? I'm gonna say, why? Yeah. You know, what, are you concerned about what's gonna happen good. when you get there? I feel healthy, yeah, you, I don't you, need to you go. You feel good, but what don't we know about? What are the yeah. silent killers that we can address yeah. now that will be easier to address now before you're requiring surgery or before you have a cancer that we can identify now when it's easier and it's cheaper? Yeah, yeah. wait till you feel bad, it could be too late. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, we see lots of guys who come in and by the time they get to you, yeah. Yeah. It's it's a year or two too late. Mm -hmm. Well, I take care of colorectal cancer. Yeah. Yeah. And often we can find these cancers before it's even a cancer as a polyp mm -hmm. and therefore preventing you from even needing surgery. So mm -hmm. it really comes to, and bringing the family into that conversation as well, yeah. that can help do some of the convincing as well, bringing your friends. Yeah. Uh, you made New Orleans proud, by the way. So you, this this young doctor is from New Orleans. Xavier Gratt. Uh, Xavier Gratt. Xavier Gratt. Congratulations. Yes, yes. Good Thank to you. see you. Thank you. Thank you. Always good to have you. Nice sport coach, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I know. You're, yeah. so you, you, Al, and Craig are like fashionistas. Yeah. I love that.